help the Lord to do. Did everybody say amen? Amen. We have something to be thankful for. God has given us another chance to look at one another and say, I love you. And yet he woke us up this morning and started us on our way. And we need to tell the Lord these words.
must acknowledge God, and God will direct your path. Whatever it is you need, whatever the strength that you need at this moment, just look to the ears for which cometh your help. Because all your help is going to come from above. Now in my hand here I have the order of service that was put together by the family. So therefore, I am compelled to go by this order of service that's put before me by the family. So at this time, we're going to be asking for a solo from the Minister of Music, following the solo, the invocation by Minister Tony Holmes.
Amen, church. Amen. We gather here today for a wholesome celebration. Amen. Of this brother. And I know hearts are heavy. But I feel that we are Christians that believe in Jesus Christ. If not one, not two. We can come together and make this a celebration. Amen. As you bow your head and close your eyes. Father God, we come before you right now in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. And Lord God, I ask you right now, petitioning, Lord God, that you touch this family, Lord God. Touch the friends, Lord God. Touch everyone right here today, Lord God. Lord God, this burden of heavy hearts, Lord God, I ask you right now to lift them up, Lord God. Give them strength, Father God, to lean on you, Lord God. As we come in troubled times, Lord God, I found that you are a resting place, Lord God. I found that I, if I just trust in you and not myself, Lord God, everything will be all right, Lord God. Lord God, your word tells us we've been endured for a night, Lord God. But sometimes people don't want to wait on till the morning, Lord God. But Lord God, as the morning comes, Lord God, Lord God, let them all come together and unify. Let them all come together and love on each other in the tough times, Lord God. But not only the tough times, Lord God, but in the prosperous time, Lord God. Because you are almighty God. You give it to your son, Lord God that died on the cross for all of us, Lord God, to have redemption, Lord God. And for that, Lord God, we want to give you praise. We want to give you glory and honor. And for that, Lord God, we want to lift you up on high and tell you thank you. Somebody tell God thank you. Thank you. Because you are our source, Lord God. You're the power, Lord God. When there's nobody there that I can hold on, Lord God, you're standing right there in the midst of my trying time. God, I ask you right now, receive this family in your bosom and hold them tight, Lord God. Give them the strength to get through this situation, Lord God, and let them know that you're their mighty God and you're, you're worthy to be praised. And let every believer in this place together, let us seal it in agreement by saying, Amen. trumpet of God 
and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we, so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Let the church say amen. Now we have a solo for LaShawn Roberts. LaShay, I'm sorry, LaShay Roberts. He's glad he's not easy. Thank you. 
be here for Vinny and Vish so that's why I'm holding it pretty well. I met Bob in 2002 when I came from New York. And something about Bob that everybody knows, he has the biggest heart that I ever encountered with. I love Bob. He earned every little bit of respect and love for me and my family. He was one of my closest friends. And Bob go to my house about three times a week. Remember Bob? Three weeks ago, we broke down, going to Miami, we, I said, Bob, you just grumpy, huh? Yeah. You know, but my point is, we gotta be real cautious and pay attention to go, what goes wrong is because, look at this, you know, it's, it's like a nightmare to me. This is my closest friend right here, my daughter right here, man. It really hit me hard. And I'm sorry, we got to go through this, but just remember, guys, he's in a better place. Yeah. And he ain't gone, he right here. Yeah. Boom, right here. Yeah. Love and respect to everybody. And he with God right now, chilling, man. Just remember that, y'all. Yeah. Uh, he was my little cousin, but I couldn't tell you that. 
And I was just that bad boy. I said, you know what, car? It is what it is, what it is. And they had a car. He, he wasn't big as that, but his heart was big. I mean, he had a heart like a lion. And it, it was time for him to like, car, just calm down. Let's walk away from it. But there wasn't no fight too big for him. He wasn't taking all the hotel, what it was. He was ready. And, uh, We grew up together, uh, we, grew, we grew up in that sort of a church Paul was just, he was, he was special to him. Yeah. And the thing that was bothering us because we, we kind of bad and bad. You know, that Saturday is his birthday. It was 25 or 26, and we, and, and we always kind of celebrated our birthday on the same day. And then it kind of like bonded us, and that's what made us. It made our relationship special in a way. And, and we communicated, yeah, we would always argue. Because I, I was the older than the but since his birthday was before mine, he would always thought he was older. So I was like, yeah, that girl, I'm not going to keep arguing with you. You know? And, and that's how we, you know, we would give some and we would take some. And, and, and I'm going to miss that right now. I'm going to miss that.
time to put out this what I felt. There are no words to express how I truly feel, but I'm gonna do my best to keep it real. When I first heard the news, I felt lost, hurt, and confused. It felt like my heart had broken when those unbelievable words were spoken. I know you are in a better place, but it hurts knowing you will no longer, but it hurts knowing we will no longer feel your warm embrace. I know we all feel this is wrong, but we must find a way to remain strong. God now has bound help and show his unconditional love. A love that can only shine from the heavens above. So for the times we feel like there's no hope for tomorrow, Bump will be there helping God take away our sorrow. So as I can, I will not say goodbye. I'll say see you again someday.
this after I got the call and was asked to do the eulogy. And I pondered with it and I pondered with it and I asked God a question. I said, what do you say at a time like this? One of those preachers that I preach the word, but this ain't my thing. But I let y'all know that if God call you, he'll equip me. So I asked him, I say, what shall I do? And he gave me this message, a life cut short. A life cut short from those that love him. Sometimes, sometimes when we in our fleshly body, I know what I'm talking about because I just went through it last week. We find that when one of our loved ones is gone, we just don't want to let go. We want to hold on just a little while longer. But I stopped by to tell you that when this after that we live in has been dissolved he got another building not made by the hands of man but is eternal in the glory when I listen at the reflections and listen about how he went through all his illness and pains well I stopped by to tell you some good news Yeah. 
tell clean That he hard to give He had a hard to give And I stopped by the tell you that If you got a hard to give You got something That's given to you by God Don't nobody Not everybody Like to give From a pure heart But when they tell me that This man That this man No matter what the situation was He didn't care about giving He will reach out And give you his land So that tell me That tell me That this man Will be missed But I tell you something You don't have to worry You don't have to worry no more Because all this Has ceased to end It's only in On this side y'all But on the other side On the other side There's life There's life after I'm one of those That has died That can die with hope Knowing that when this is all over I'll be able I'll be able y'all To go into heaven And sit round Sit round the welcoming table And see my mama all over again And I'll be able I'll be able y'all To tell mama Mama Oh mama I made it I made it she said, how did you make it? I made it because I kept my hands in God's hand. I didn't leave not to my own understanding. But in all my ways, I acknowledged him and I let God direct my steps. I'm here to tell you, family, everything, everything is going to be all right. You can shout now. Thank you. 
to one day be arrested. And when they arrested him, they took him to Pilate's Hall. And when they got him to Pilate's Hall, they went took him from Judgment Hall to Judgment Hall. Making all kind of false accusations about that man. And the Pilate said, I find no fault in this man. And then Pilate's wife came to him and said, don't you have nothing to do with that handsome man? And Pilate then during that dispositional time, they had to turn someone over. And Pilate asked them, who would you have? And they said, give us Barabbas. But crucify him. Crucify him. And Jesus stood there. Not saying a moment in word until they took him and marched him up 72 steps of Gadagatha Hill. And on their way up on the hill, they met a man with a cross. And he said this Must Jesus bear the cross alone that all the world go free? If there's a cross, for anyone, it's got to be a cross for me. Jesus said, if you want to be my disciple, pick up your cross and follow me. They took Jesus and they tied his hands to the cross. And then they ripped his feet to the cross. He said this, I dare you to raise me up between heaven and this earth. He said, because if you raise me up, I'll draw all men unto me. And they raised him up. And he stayed on that cross through the six, through the night. Earthly tabernacle 